Well, let's start off by taking a look at temperatures across the valley. I think we did well today with highs in the lower 70s for the most part across the valley. Finally, out of the 40s and into the upper 50s there through the past, Desert Hot Springs, you look good almost to 70 degrees today. Uh, 29 Palms right there, right around the 60 degree mark in the 50s for Yucca Valley. The bigger storm obviously was out toward the east. I say was, but really still is in some ways. I mean, uh, upper Midwest drying out a little bit. So is the Central Plains, but down throughout the southeast and mid-Atlantic region, still a little troublesome there. And of course, the northeast now getting socked in with uh, what's left of that storm. And there's still plenty of it left for the Great Lakes. Here's our next storm in, if you will. But it won't, we won't see the stormy end of it. No, what we'll get is the wind. What we'll get is cooler air or a little reinforcement. I mean, let's just say it won't allow our temperatures to really warm up much. So we'll be kept in check, if you will. So I don't see this doing much more than that. It certainly won't bring us any of that rain. Uh, so expect a warm up to continue. Even with uh, some of the temperatures just kind of holding true to right around 70, I still see us mid to upper 70s before you can blink an eye. I'll show you that coming up. 60s through the past for tomorrow. Desert Hot Springs, you'll be in the 70s for tomorrow. Might not have made it today, but you will tomorrow. Uh, Morongo Valley, nicely in the middle 60s. 29 Palms, lower 60s. So just some wonderful temperatures for the weekend. Of course, there'll be those uh, windy spots, especially uh, below canyons and passes. So if you're going up to the higher elevations, keep that in mind. But these temperatures look very nice. I like it when we get a nice little warming trend. Look at that. Now, once again, that front coming through doesn't allow us to really warm up Sunday and Monday. Thereafter, high pressure builds back in again. And notice that we do get out of check. <laughs> I don't want to be kept in check too long when we can see middle to upper 70s by the end of next week. Gino Elizabeth.